Ottawa, Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre tapped many loyalists, but also former rivals to compose a crowded, inflation-busting shadow cabinet of 51 critics and 20 associate critics on Wednesday. The key position of finance critic goes to Jisraj Singh Hallen, an Alberta MP first elected in 2019, who supported Poilievre during the leadership race and who will be responsible for putting the government's feet to the fire, on inflation and the cost of living crisis. Oliveira named former leadership contender, and Ontario MP Leslin Lewis critic for infrastructure, and communities. Answering calls from former opposition leader Stockwell Day for her to be included, in the new leader's shadow cabinet. Ontario MP Scott Aitchison, who also was a leadership candidate, was named critic for housing and diversity, and inclusion, another priority for Poilievre, who has been consistently talking about the housing crisis, that leaves many young people unable to afford a home. Long-time Poilievre loyalists managed to secure some key roles, in his first shadow cabinet. Notably Alberta MP Stephanie Cusey as Treasury Board critic, Shannon Stubbs as Natural Resources Critic and BCMP Mark Strahl as Transport Critic. Stephen Ellis, who worked as a family doctor, in Nova Scotia, before being elected MP in 2021, becomes Poilievre's health critic. Michael Barrett, who worked closely with Poilievre, on the We Charity file, in 2020, is back in his role as Shadow Minister for Ethics and Accountable Government. Rachel Thomas, who led the charge on the online streaming bill now known as C11, inherits Canadian heritage. Quebec MP Gerard Deltel, who supported former Quebec Premier Jean Charest in the leadership race, becomes Poilievre's critic for environment and climate change, at a time where Liberals are questioning the new Conservative leader, on his plan to fight climate change. Some Conservative MPs are keeping their previous critic jobs, including Manitoba MP Raquel Doncho, at Public Safety, as well as Alberta MP James Barlow as Agriculture Critic, and Ontario MP Michael Chong as Foreign Affairs Critic. Manitoba MP James Bezan is back at National Defence. Oliver's Shadow Cabinet, which he described, in a press release as one that will take on just inflation, also includes portfolios that relate specifically to economic priorities championed by Poilievre during the leadership race. Alberta MP Matt Jenneru becomes Shadow Minister for Supply Chain Issues. And Ontario MP Scott Davidson takes on the role of Shadow Minister for Red Tape Reduction. And even though pandemic restrictions have been virtually eliminated across the country, Ontario MP Marilyn Glader becomes Poilievre Shadow Minister for Civil Liberties. Other associate roles were distributed with a distinct focus. Saskatchewan MP Corey Tocher will be responsible for the nuclear file as associate critic for natural resources. And Ontario MP Shelby Cramp Newman will focus on recruitment and retention as associate critic for national defence. Saskatchewan MP Randy Hoback, as Associate Critic for International Trade, will act as an advisor to the leader on Canada-US relations. Some names do not appear on Poilievre's list, notably Alberta MP Michelle rempel garner who was Brampton Mayor Patrick Brown's co-chair during the leadership, as well as BC MP Ed Fast, the former Charay co-chair who criticized Poilievre's economic policies. Former leader Aaron Atul is also not on the list, but that may be because he specifically asked the new leader not to include him. Atul told the National Post's John Iverson that he does not want to be a distraction and asked Oliver to use him as a designated hitter instead, 